welcome to Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews, episode 6. Today we're talking about Masayuki Ochiai's 2004 J-Horror smash hit, Infection. The story of Infection is a complicated and tangled one, although it doesn't seem so at first. Um, it all begins at we are introduced to a hospital that is low on staff and supplies, so times are tough. And basically, um, there's this mysterious patient is rushed in, and the police officer is saying, "Oh, he's infected. He's infected. You have to take him. If you don't take him, we're going to report this hospital. So, you know, you better take him, or you guys are going down." So the doctors reluctantly take him in. But at the same time, um, there's another completely bandaged patient um, who needs assistance, who's dying, and so all the doctors rush in to try and save him. And the doctor gives a nurse an order and she hears the wrong thing apparently and basically what they end up doing is they kill this bandaged patient so the doctors have to form a pact and say okay you know this was malpractice you know if anybody finds out what really happened here tonight we're gonna be in serious trouble so they make a cover-up they plan to burn this uh, bandaged fellow um, but what they don't know is that well, the head doctor was sleeping in the room next to them so what does he know so it's this uh, story of like mystery and you know people are kind of wondering who knows what um, and what is with the the guy that was transported there from the uh, the the cops or whatever you know who had an infection and then you know as soon as he's in there now the uh, various doctors and nurses they start to show the same weird green and gooey symptoms so yeah the story is definitely, uh, it's out there. Infection has a lot of good merits to it. It's got, um, even though it's like over an hour and a half long, it's got pretty good pacing. Um, they mix it up with some good, uh, scary, um, jumpy scenes, especially when they're, like, searching the hospital for, um, uh, the mysterious infection that has spread. Um, that was very, like, you know, moody and atmospheric. There's some good, uh, gory, gross-out scenes. Um, more so than what I've reviewed, like the other titles I've reviewed so far, like The Ring and The Grudge. Um, this one kind of takes it a step further in terms of uh, shock value with the gross-out scenes. Um, it's also, it's got uh, good music, good acting, like overall, like the production values are pretty good and the special effects makeup's good. There's a ton of uh, green ooze in this one. Infection is actually the first in a series of six planned movies in what's called the J-Horror Theater. Um, it's a line of movies being released by Japan from the producers of uh, Ringu and Grudge. And um, this was the first one. And Lionsgate Films has been releasing them all over here in America. The second one is one called Premonition. I'll be reviewing that soon. And the third one is from uh, the director of the Grudge, Takashi Shimizu, um, and that's Reincarnation. But this was the first one. Um, those are the only three that have been made, even in Japan so far, I believe. Uh, we're still waiting on the, th the other three. The DVD was released by Lionsgate Films here in the Region 1 market. And, like, presentation-wise, and, you know, like, you know, all the specs of the DVD, it's pretty nice. Um, everything looks great and sounds great. It's just that it's seriously lacking in the extras. Like, there's nothing. There's just, like, two trailers or so for, like, The Grudge. Um, there's not even a trailer for this movie, I don't think. But, yeah, so it would have been nice for some extra features, especially, like, a making of or... Uh, maybe a, an interview with the director to see, you know, some of the confusion in the movie. Um, because the ending does get pretty, um, confusing, so. What's surely to divide fans on Infection is the confusing ending that, um, kind of leaves a lot that needs to be explained. Um, I've seen this film a number of times and I still don't really know how to explain the ending. Um, I don't know if you can just chalk it up to, like, supernatural elements or, um, you know, who's dead, who's alive, who's really who, you know. Um, so, you know, but a lot of fans, you know, have fun trying to decipher the various imagery. I think Infection's a really good movie for fans that have just gotten into J-horror and also for fans who are kind of, you know, they've seen a lot more movies because, um... On one level, it's pretty easy to grasp, and it's easy to get scared by it. So, you know, a casual viewer can watch it and um, appreciate the, the scary scenes and the gory scenes and, you know, the atmosphere of the movie. And um, a more experienced viewer who's looking for more depth to his films uh, will probably appreciate the, um, 
the amount of time it takes to analyze the movie and try to put all the pieces together and how the story is supposed to make sense. Um, a lot of people online have different theories on various message boards trying to talk about how they interpret the movie and I've seen like literally like hundreds of different theories so it's a movie that's got people talking so that's a good thing so I think um, wherever you are in the J-horror spectrum if you're just starting out you know definitely see like the ring and the grudge get the basics done first and this would be a good movie in fact should be a good movie to you know watch right after you've gotten those out of the way or you know if you've seen everything around the block and you haven't seen this one yet definitely should try to pick it up I saw on IMDb uh, this morning that there's a movie called Infection uh, set to release in 2009, I think. So it looks like we're probably going to be seeing another Hollywood remake of a Japanese horror film. I know, so yeah, but definitely you should uh, check out the original Japanese version from Lionsgate Films. Uh, great movie. Um, confusing ending. It'll leave you scratching your head. You'll want to rewatch it to see, you know, if you can put any more of it together. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody for uh, subscribing and watching and rating and leaving comments. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. And uh, as always, I'm Swan and see you next time. What's wrong with the patient? You say he's stopped breathing? He-man!